Oh my god. Holy sh**. <laughs> okay. This looks insane. This looks really cool. They did it. They finally and actually did it. These modding mad lads. Guys, if you remember last week, I put out a video talking about the mods for Chrono Cross Remastered on PC because the game itself released and it was okay, but it did have a lot of issues as far as frame rates. Some of the CGI cutscenes were a little bit pixely, but modders went ahead and they fixed all of that. Be sure to check out this video on the top left. I made a video talking about all of that, how you can install it and get like me. But today, oh, today, <laughs> we're going back to our good old website, Nexus Mods, because the modders have really hooked us up with some fire today, guys. I was looking through the mods today and I saw that we have background textures, in-game background textures. No, not CGI cutscenes, not just character models, but background textures have been upscaled. Look at that now. So I already downloaded it, but I'm gonna showcase to you guys how to install it. But before we even do that, we are gonna load up the game, see what it looks like right now, raw without upscaling anything. And then we're gonna install this, show you guys how to install it, and check it out ourselves and see how it really looks. Looking at the screenshots already, man, this is fantastic. I can't wait to see how this actually looks like in the game. My God. <laughs> okay, before we get into any spoilers, because I haven't really beaten the game and I don't want to look through all that because I feel like that's going to get into some territory I don't want to see. Let's boot up Chrono Cross and see how it looks. Okay, so booting up the game and looking at it right now, I don't know if it'll actually upscale the text textures over here. I wonder if it will. I mean, that'd be really dope. But let's go check out uh, Arnie Village ourselves and see what it looks like. Just getting a look at it right here, this is what the game looks like raw, straight up from Square Enix without any updates to it at all. This is Arnie Village. Maybe we'll go to another location just to uh, also see what that might look like. See what the Hydra Marshes look like. Opasa Beach. Opasa Beach didn't look too bad, but that's because these are like super close to the screen. Well, because of where I am currently in the story, I can't really go to all the other locations at the moment. Basically, this is Arnie Village. We're going to see how it looks after we install this. So now I'm going to showcase you guys how to install this mod. Shout out to the modder who uploaded this. His name is Wasra. The modder says this is an alpha release of the background textures being upscaled and there are some things that do need to be fixed. If there are any problems, please screenshot them and upload it in the comment section right here where it says post to let him know and he will look into fixing it. So essentially you go over to files, there's one file to download, you're gonna manually download it, go to slow. So now let's go back to the installation so we can see how to install it. So go to files, he says to unpack the files, open the HD file in the games folder with WinRAR, make a backup copy of the HD file just in case, navigate to the folder map, then put the files in the folder map bin and replace them, enjoy. I think we have an easier way to install this using 7-zip. Be sure to check out the link in the description. I will provide 7-Zip there for you guys to showcase to you how to access that. What he wants us to do is open up the WinRAR folder for background textures. Click on chip data. These are all the background textures of the game. It's quite a lot. It's about over a gig. Find where the game is located, first of all. Mine is located in my D drive, Steam library, Steam maps, common, Chrono Cross, Radical Dreamers, data. Before we start making any changes, let's go ahead and make a copy of the hd.dat file just in case. If there are any issues, you don't want to run into any and then you have to reinstall your entire game and that, that sucks. So we're going to copy it, right? Put it in a location where you don't mind putting things. I mean, I, I'm i just going to put it in my Photoshop folder, paste it there just so I know I can find it later. It's only a gig, so it's not too big of a deal. So that's going to go there. And now we are ready to open it up and configure it. Now, if you remember in the last video, I showcased you guys how to install using 7-Zip. Uh, same thing applies here. I'm gonna provide it in the description below so you guys can download it and get your hands on it and access a much easier way to install this than what they were saying. But essentially, find your game folder now again, go into the hd.dat file, open up 7-Zip archive. We're gonna go to map, map bin, and here are the files. So you open up right these are the new ones the background textures that have been updated and these are the old ones right here so what we're gonna do is we're going to highlight 
all of these, every single one. Then we're going to drag it, literally click, drag it over into the 7-zip open up window. I'm going to drag it in there. It's going to add the files. It might take some time depending on how fast your hard drive is or any issues you might be running into. So here we're going to click yes to copying the files into this folder, which is going to change the map bin file. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Okay, that has completed. It is done. Now the only thing left for us to do, it's that subscribe button because only 30% of people who watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. Guess what time it is, baby? We back. Life has been uh, crazy over the last few months, so we had to slow down on PlayStation 5 giveaways. But lo and behold, we got our hands on another one, guys, and we're gonna be doing another PlayStation 5 giveaway. This one is going to be YouTube members only. We haven't done a members only one in a while, so I'm, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm probably gonna see if I can get another one very soon and give back to the community because you guys helped us out tremendously over the last few months. And I'm just super, super grateful to be back in a much more comfortable situation now and ready to get back to creating content normally like we used to. And also giving away PS5s. So join and become a member today via the link in the description and also check the link in the comments that's pinned. I also have a link there as well. Any tier will get you an entry to join in on the giveaway and we will figure out who will win this sometime in May. So be sure to subscribe and don't miss out on any of that, guys. We're gonna be doing these things live and I can't wait to see who is gonna be the person to win a PlayStation 5. Subscribe, join, become a member. Don't miss out on this, guys is to boot it up, check it out, and see what exactly these AI upscaled models are looking like. I'm excited, I'm excited. Actually, wait a minute. The Hydra Marshes look way more detailed over there. All right, let's go into Arnie Village and see what this looks like, guys. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. This looks insane. This looks really fucking cool. It is super, super, like, sharp. You can kind of see lines. Here, let me use my mouse. With Moguri Mod, they had to redraw everything by hand. This was just put into an AI upscaler, so there might be some random locations that are a little... Uh, I might have a little issues here and there, but that's not too big of a deal right here. I imagine there's probably worse stuff, but as we see them, we will report them. Don't worry. But let's check out some of the other locations inside of Arnie. Damn. This looks really clean. Everything's a little bit sharper. They have like more, uh, there's more lines circling around the objects. Let's see Surge's room. Details are a lot sharper. Now, remember, this was just thrown into an AI upscaler. It wasn't fine-tuned or anything like that by hand, like Moguri Mod was. But I believe over time, it will get to that level. But holy shit, this looks beautiful. And let's get into a battle and see if it updated the textures over there in battle as well. Yeah, the Hydra Marshes look more... Uh, they're le it's less fuzzy. It does have random lines here and there. But, yo, this is... <laughs> this looks absolutely sick. This looks really, really clean. Okay look at that look how this looks guys this is pretty badass all right let's get into a battle and see if things were changed on that department okay so backgrounds weren't touched which makes sense because map and map bin is separate from the uh battle folder so that makes a lot more sense it does look different here okay let's go to Go to Cape Howell. Wow. I wish I came here before we installed it, guys. Because over here, these little, like, swirls, the, you couldn't really make them out like that. You couldn't really look and see exactly what it looked like. A little bit of fine-tuning, but overall, it's a much sharper image. And now, let's go check out Opasa Beach. Jeez. Okay, Opasa. Okay, you see right here? Because this, uh, <laughs> this is the other dimension and it uses a different texture. So the AI upscaler pretty much exposed its lines a little bit. It's a work in progress, but it's pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. The overall colors, the way that the things look, it is pretty nice. 
So it's not a bad install. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Let's just like the previous video that we uh, created. However, it does seem to require some work. I uh, believe I'm going to be submitting some photos to the uh, modder just so that they know. Pretty sure they are aware because those are pretty beginning portions of the game. But let's see what uh, they can do as far as fine tuning that and getting it to look a little bit more neater very slowly but surely and by slowly i mean every single week we're inching closer and closer to getting the true chrono cross remaster that you guys always wanted as more mods come out i will be updating and creating more videos to give you guys information on how to install them what's the latest and greatest and overall just getting this game to look the best that it can that you guys deserve so be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more chrono cross mods and just overall gaming mods will be coming your way as well as rpg news welcome king sport thank you for the sub be like king sport and subscribe to the channel right now guys you don't want to miss out on any of that my name is blitz and thanks for watching